Rewrite Long Script, Emma Stone, 35, achieved a milestone while taking on hosting duties for the fifth time on Saturday Night Live, and both Tina Fey and Candace Bergen made surprise cameos to help celebrate. The La La Land actress was officially inducted into the Five Timers Club by the SNL alum and Murphy Brown star. To kick off the opening monologue, she stepped onto the stage and was given a warm welcome by the audience. Once the applause began to die down, Stone excitedly sent gratitude to the cheering crowd and expressed, It is so great to be back. It's my fifth time hosting SNL. Stone then proudly stated, I'm so honored to be joining the SNL Five Timers Club, but before she could continue, Tina Fey appeared on the stage, causing the audience to erupt in applause. The comedian, who was a cast member on the series from 1997 to 2006, donned a velvet jacket that had the number 5 embroidered on the left side. She continued to explain, a few years ago, they even added a whole women's section and revealed that the idea had actually come from Candace Bergen. Bergen also sported a five-timers jacket and Stone stated, Wow! Candace, you created the five-timers women's club. What's it like in there? She jokingly replied with, It's got everything. Showers, a locker room, a big portrait with the eyes cut out so Martin Short can peek in. To conclude the opening monologue, Tina and Candace presented the Oscar winner with a five-timers jacket, which she happily put on. This has been a dream of mine since I was a kid, and it means so much that I get to share this moment with you guys, she had gushed on stage. Also during the latest SNL episode, Emma had the chance to show off her comedic skills by taking part in a variety of sketches. During the first skit of the night, the beauty portrayed a contestant alongside Heidi Gardner and Punky Johnson on a game show called Question Quest, which was hosted by Michael Longfellow. Emma answered the first question of the game correctly and the host immediately jumped into announcing her prize, which had Stone a bit confused. It was then revealed that she had won a 37-year-old tortoise named Speedy and the host then told her that the tortoise had actually been his since he was a little boy. Stone then asked how long a tortoise could live, which prompted Longfellow to make the contestants try to guess the answer. The prize announcer humorously stated that Emma was now in a 190-year contract with the tortoise, which had previously belonged to the host. I'm not sure I can take care of a tortoise for the rest of my life, Jen stated as she began to not want the prize. The host moved on to another question, which Heidi answered correctly and her prize was announced and turned out to be a total of three new cars. However, Emma's character deemed her winning to be not fair, and Longfellow then offered that the other contestants could try to win the tortoise. Speedy is all yours. Longfellow told Stone, who begged, why did you do this to me? He simply responded with, because it was done to me. I would say join us next week, but this was the first and last episode of Question Quest. In another sketch, the help actress portrayed an amateur potter named, Cody, and was a special guest on the show called What's in the Kiln. The pair kicked off the episode inside a pottery studio and showed off pieces that they had recently crafted. Feynman's character, Rainy, showed a mug with a face that she had made. It's just a mug, but I think it's my best yet. Remember, folks, we're not professionals. Gardner's character, Judy, then showed off three, poorly crafted finger basins that she had also made. She added, I love the reaction my family has when they open one of my handmade bowls, and mimicked a reaction of feigned excitement. Chloe replied, I get that too. Well, our guest today has been making incredible gifts here for the past three years and Emma then joined the hosts. She then proceeded to talk about the love of pottery and stated, I love that pottery is so personal. These days people don't want something made by a machine. They want something made by a premenopausal lady in a fleece vest. Chloe and Heidi then showed two bowls that they had made, and asked Stone to present hers to show how better her pottery skills are. However, when she took out her own bowl, it looked exactly like the host's pieces, but the pair gushed at how compared to theirs, it was like night and day. Emma's character then finally presented another piece that wasn't a bowl due to her wanting to start branching out. 
The star then placed an item that appeared to be very unstructured, but Chloe and Heidi were blown away. The skit concluded with Stone informing the two that she was selling the piece to her own father. Emma also appeared in a Please Don't Destroy sketch during the episode, but once the video began, a disclaimer suddenly flashed on the screen. It read, due to a hard drive malfunction, some of Emma Street.